Children's hymn will be number 581. Come back to me. Please rise. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, though straight and tall. So must we to others call. Long have I waited for your coming to me and living deeply our need. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning, my dear lovely people of God. Today we have come again to praise God. Let us present to him our private intentions. We have all sinned against him. Let us seek for his mercy and forgiveness and tell him that we are sorry. I confess. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that good through Lenten observance and nourished by your word, through your holy restraint, we may be devoted to you with all our heart and be ever united in prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet, or a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people and said, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live and may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. Therefore, I teach you the statutes and decrees as the Lord my God has commanded me that you may observe them in the land you are entering to occupy. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? However, take care and be earnestly on your guard not to forget the things which your own eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your memory as long as you live, but teach them to your children and to your children's children. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. For he has strengthened the bars of your gates. 
He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his word. He spreads snow like wool, frost he strews like ashes. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob, his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you. Let us with our in your heart and knowledge that we work in the gospel will do for us and our spirit. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen, I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments would be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to our Lord Jesus Christ, both now and forever. Amen. Dear ones, today we are to reflect on the theme. Remember not to forget. Remember not to forget. This is based on the first reading of today. Dear ones, one of the strategies of the devil is to remind us of what we should forget and make us forget what we should remember. One of the strategies of the devil is to remind us of what we should forget and make us forget what we should remember. The devil reminds us of our past unholy lives, of our defects, of our mistakes, of our faults, even after we have confessed them, repented, and done penance, the devil continues to remind us of those things. Why does the devil do that? The purpose is to introduce in us guilt, make us doubt God's mercy and despair of hope, of salvation. That is what the devil instills in us whenever he makes us forget. Whenever he reminds us of what we should forget. In contrast, my dear ones, 
The devil makes us forget the things that we ought to always remember and ponder on. In the first reading of today, Moses told the people of Israel, do not forget the things your eyes have seen, nor let them slip from your heart all the days of your life. Rather, tell these things to your children and your children's children. What are the things the Lord wants us to always remember? That is the question. What are these things that the Lord wants me to remember always, wants you to remember always? What are they? They are, number one, God's help in times past. God's help in times past. Many of us have been rescued from difficult problems, from hopeless cases, from untimely death. Many of us have witnessed indisputable ways the saving hand of God. We have a lot of testimonies of divine interventions in our lives. Many of us would have died before now or become miserable or forgotten if not for God. The Lord is saying to us today, my dear ones, do not forget how I have been there for you in times past. Number two, our promises to God, we always forget that. Often, we promise God that we will be faithful and we always obey him. That we promise to amend our ways and put an end to sinful lives and habits and put an end our negative conducts. However, dear ones, most of the time, we break these promises. The Lord is telling us today, do not forget the things you have promised. Do not let them slip your heart if we have made any promise to God, let us seek his grace to fulfill our promises to God. It is not easy. Beth, with God being on our side, we will fulfill our promises to him. Number three, eternity. The Lord is telling us today, do not forget that life has an end. Our earthly life is transient. Do not forget the essence of your existence. We must not forget that the goal of life is not the acquisition of material things. Acquisition of wealth, acquisition of learning, acquisition of fame, acquisition of power and authority, or acquisition of property. The essence of life, dear ones, is to seek God's face in this life and enjoy eternity with him. Finally, the other ones, do not, do not allow the devil 
to make us forget what we should always remember. God gives us the living water our true salvation. Let us pray to the Father for all who trust for this life. For Christians everywhere, that they may respond to the word of God this holy season. Let us pray to the Lord. <clears throat> for strength this season, this Lenten season, to reject the temptations of the devil and strive to be holy. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who have rejected God, that their hearts may be open to his Son who opens his grace to them. Let us pray to the Lord. For families that are broken, may they come together in a spirit of love for each other. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace throughout the world, especially during this Lenten season, let us pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord and for the repose of the soul of Albert Viger, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Most loving Father, through Jesus we enter the life of grace. Pour out your spirit upon us who offer our prayers to you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God, for creation, for through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of my hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God, for creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of my hands. It will become for us a special drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the prayers of your people, along with these sacrificial offerings, and defend those who celebrates your mysteries from every kind of danger to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Lord, Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as who the rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humble, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, our Lord, your church, spirit throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis Apo, Edward the Bishop, Gregory the Zulat Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may marry to be coerced to know life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, The us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all these stress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. peace Lamp of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Let's have those called the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. May the heavenly banquet at which we have been fed sanctify us, O Lord, and cleansing us of all errors, make us worthy of your promises from on high through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your great sweet sing. You reign down in splendor with Jesus our King. Ave, ave.